Click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Ross here. Welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to convert Newman projections to line angle formulas. So we're going to go backwards from what people typically do. Usually students are asked to take a, a skeletal or what's called perspective drawing and move it to Newman. Now I'm giving you the Newman and I'm asking you to go to perspective. So now we're standing here. And we're looking side on. So not looking down the bond. The Newman projections are looking down the bond. This one wants us to draw the skeletal formula or the perspective or the side on view. All right. So the first thing I would do is count my carbons because that's where a lot of students make mistakes. They just don't count their carbons. So I have one here, two, the circles three, and four. So my longest chain here is four carbons, is four carbons. So what I would do, and this is how I like to do them, I draw the carbons here and here. So this circle represents this carbon and this carbon. So if you want, carbon two and carbon three, okay? So now I have to draw in carbon number one. So according to this Newman projection, to keep the confirmation the same, according to me, this is where I'm standing, this methyl group is going to hit my top hat. It's coming up and towards me. Up and towards me. Up and towards. Remember me, I'm standing here. This is coming at me. So it's up and towards me. Up and towards me. This hydrogen over here is up and away from me. Up and away from me. So let's call this HA. Oops. A and HB, just to distinguish them. So HA is up and away. So that would be there, HA. So HA gets the dash lines, and it's pointing up, and it's going away. Up and away. HB is down. From my point of view, HB is straight down and in the same plane as these two carbons. It's in the same plane as these two carbons. So that's why I drew it right there. And this, by the way, is carbon number one. Carbon number four, from my point of view, is in the same plane as HB and these two carbons. From this point of view, this atom, these two carbons, and this carbon are in the same plane. Okay, now according to this guy, there's a methyl group going down that's going to hit his feet. So it's coming towards me and down. Towards me and down. Towards me and down. It's on carbon number three, towards me and down. So let's call this, uh, let's call this methyl group uh, X. Y and Z. So this is methyl group Y right here. Methyl group X right there. And now we have to draw in methyl group Z. And that's going to be methyl group Z. According to this drawing, methyl group Z is down and away. Down and dashed so it's away. All right, now this complicates students a lot. This gets students a little bit weird because they, they have a hard time visualizing it. My advice is to try this question again. Cover up the answer. Try it again. S make sure you can visualize these things in your brain uh, and on paper because it makes your life easier moving forward and what, what we're going to be doing next. All right. So try this question again. Do it. Do it a few times until it becomes second nature. All right, guys. Now, please, if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know the kind of videos that you're looking for from your organic chemistry faculty. Maybe I can make a video just for you. And please consider sharing my content with your friends and family. Anyone that you know that may be struggling with organic chemistry or just beginning an organic chemistry class in the near future, let them know I exist so they can use me to help them do better in class. And please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help faculty members when you subscribe to our channels. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job and students are engaging with our content. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbetts at protonmail.com 
if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.